Kiosh and I'm back for another video. So today the video is super, super exciting because now I am getting ready to start my home renovations. Most of these renovations will be DIY, but some of them I will have to contract out just when I get to that point, which probably won't be a while from now. So I have been living in a little bit about my house. So I live in a manufactured home, a mobile home, whatever you want to call it. It's a double wide has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a laundry, a den, a living room, dining room, and a kitchen. It is approximately about 2,200 square feet, something like that. 2,200 square feet, something like that. It's really big. Um, the rooms are really big. I knew um, when I look for a house, I like bigger bedrooms. I hate small bedrooms. Um, and also live on three acres in land. So I live out in a rural area, not in a city. So that is um, where I got my bang for my buck. Um, but I have been living here for 12 years. The mobile home has been here for 19 years. We did buy it from somebody else. So the model is a 1999, I think it's a Carrington Fleetwood or something like that. Um, and we moved in here in 2006. So we've been living here for 12 years. I keep up with it because my daughter was born right after we moved in here. Um, that's why I was looking for a new home. Um, so yes, that is what I'm doing. So it's been 12 years. I've gotten a couple of upgrades. I've gotten a new roof and new flooring in the hallway, the living room, the kitchen, and the laundry room, and the second bathroom due to water damage. So both of those were paid for by my homeowner's insurance. So I didn't have to come out of my pocket too much for those. I think one deductible was $1,000 because the first one was a different insurance company. And then this most recent one that I got done was $500 deductible which was um due to my warranty so so far i've spent on this house maybe about three or four thousand dollars and when i say three or four thousand dollars like fifteen so hundred for deductibles and then the rest of it was for i did upgrade my floor they i had a carpet in here and i didn't want any more carpet when i had the water damage so i upgraded to the laminates, so I had to pay the extra difference because they would only replace it with what was already there. So I upgraded and paid the difference. Um, when I show you guys my master bath bedroom, I have painted in there. I have um, redid most some of my bathroom myself, and then I redid the kids' bathroom. So some of that was like projects here or there, or whatever. But now we're going to be consistent. Those projects are like years in between. So you know when you see my bathroom or the tour of the house. Um, today as of November the 10th. This is what the house looks like right now. I didn't clean it up. I didn't put things away. I didn't do anything. I just took a view of my house right now as it is. This channel is going to be real. I'm not going to clean up nothing before I film it. None of that. Until after I show the reveal of everything, that's probably when it'll be clean. But I'm a normal person who lives in a normal house that is messy. I don't try to claim that I'm perfect or anything like that. So don't be looking for that on this channel. I'm just going to tell you that now. Um, so I just took what my home looks like at this moment, November the 10th, 2018. Because I don't know how long you're looking at this. But yeah, so today we are going to start working on the bedrooms, the three bedrooms. And I'm going to put in some shots of the three bedrooms before, which is right now. Okay, so the first bedroom you saw is the bedroom that I am currently in. My mom used to live here. She moved out last month, so I'm turning her bedroom into my office. This is going to be my personal office, my personal space. Um, if you guys don't know, I do work full time, but I also have a business of my own for financial coaching. So I need somewhere where I can set it up. And of course, I do YouTube videos, as you guys can see. And so I need a space for me to have everything that I can leave it in one space, leave and go do what I need to do 
So when I come in here, it's work. When I go out there, it's family time. So that is the kind of uh, division I want when it comes to my home. Because before, in my bedroom, used to be my office slash my bedroom. And it was hard to distinguish the two when I need to work, when I need to relax. And so I wanted it out of my personal space so that I knew when I came here, I would work. And when I came out of here, work was over, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, my mom painted it this green color. I don't like it. Um, you see, the second bedroom you saw was my son's. He painted his a blue color like some years ago. He is currently in college, so that room is going to be like his room slash the guest room. So I want to turn it in back into a bedroom. As you see now, it's sort of my makeshift office. has a futon and desk in there and some other things. It's just a place that I put things when I don't have nowhere to put it. So I'm going to turn that back into a bedroom. I'm going to get a bed in there. I'll probably get my mom that futon for her new place. And then get that set up as a guest bedroom slash his bedroom when he comes to town. And then the third bedroom we saw was my daughter's bedroom. So her bedroom is hot pink and she don't have that for a while. Um, so we're going to just, you know, paint over all that. So all of these bedrooms are going to be the same as that color, a nice neutral color that goes with my theme. And so I haven't talked about my theme. So my theme is the modern th farmhouse theme. I do live in the country, but I've always liked the farmhouse theme, but I didn't like the traditional farmhouse theme. I don't like the red. I don't like the roosters and all the other kind of stuff. I like the whites, the grays. The light tans, you know, I don't like all of those like traditional farmhouse, but I love the modern farmhouse look. So that is the look that I'm going for in my home. Now, it may not be true to the modern farmhouse, but it's going to be to my aesthetic and how I like it because I live here. So however I see my vision is how I'm going to play it out. But the closest thing, if you want to call it something, is going to be the modern farmhouse. Okay, so today I am here um, deciding on which paint color to put in this bedroom. And so I've chosen two colors from Sherman William. One is City Loft and the other is Agreeable Gray. So what I'm gonna do is swatch the wall, let it dry, and I'm trying to figure out which color to paint these bedrooms. Um, I've already picked out the flooring. I've already installed all new ceiling fans and I will, you know, probably put that in another. I think I vlogged it on one of my vlogs, but I'll put up, putting up a couple of ceiling fans and then, you know, you saw the ceiling fans and you saw the two, two of the rooms. But I did just replace them last weekend. So I've replaced the three in the bedroom. Well, these two, my this room and my daughter's room never had a ceiling fan. So I had to replace the box up there and do it all myself. Yes, your girl put it up all by herself. She did it. She did it. The My bedroom, my son's bedroom, and the living room, and the den already had ceiling fans. So I just had to take down what was existing and put up what was new. So that wasn't too hard on those. So yeah, that is where I am today. November 10th is the start of the true renovations. Um, I'm going to paint first because I don't care nothing about messing up the carpet. That way I don't have to protect the floor because this carpet is coming up. I do have laminate going into the three bedrooms. So I'm going to paint while the carpet is down so I don't have to worry about protecting the carpet, like I said. And once the carpet comes up, we can just lay the floor down and we don't have to worry about cleanup or anything when it comes to the floor. Um, I haven't decided about like the trim all the way around the room. I do want to paint it like a white color. But we'll get to that when we get to that. But for today, I'm trying to swatch and see which color I like. So that is the intro to this uh, series. As you can see, it's called Busy Doing Renovations um, on a budget, of course. And yeah, I will take you guys along on how much things cost, how much I pay for everything. So the first thing I want to tell you guys I paid for was six ceiling fans. And I eventually paid, I think, for the first set of ceiling fans, the first four, I paid $491.00. And then the second two were $64 a piece. So that's what, 100 is 159, uh, no, five, 5.91 plus about, let's say another $50, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So maybe about $650 for the ceiling fans. I know that sounds really, really expensive, um, but remember these ceiling fans are good quality. They're here to stay and I don't like to replace things over and over by buying cheap stuff now they were cheap in some people's eyes like the ceiling fans in here were $79 the ceiling fan in my bedroom was $99 and then the two in the living room and the den were $64 so I mean that's not expensive in my my eyes I think that's really good prices for ceiling fans for the quality I do love Home Depot so a lot of my stuff will come from Home Depot I just don't like Lowe's I never find anything I like and I just like Home Depot stuff so I usually shop at Home Depot you guys want to know um that's where i'm gonna get most of my things from 
and yeah so let's just get to swatching and um i'm going to be priming my daughter's room later on today or you know tonight or whatever and i will take you guys through that process as well so i'll see y'all in a few okay you guys so the consensus is this is let's turn off the light so you guys see this is city loft in the natural light this is agreeable gray in the natural light so i like agreeable gray because i think the city loft even though and you can see that it's gray it's not enough dimension for me. I feel like it will get washed out. And maybe not, but I like the agreeable gray. I think it goes good with the floors. That's how it looks like when the light is on in the room. Let's turn the light on and close the curtain. So I have the lights, the blinds open too. Let's see. So if we close all the blinds. Uh oh, sorry. So say I have the blinds closed, this is what it looks like. So you see how you can see that city loft? It just looks just like the door, it's too white for me. So I think I'm gonna go with the agreeable gray. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, just using my sample to go ahead and get a little paint done since I'm already in the mood, you know, or whatever. Why not go ahead and just do some things? That is what the agreeable gray is going to look like. No city law. So we're going to go with agreeable gray. Looks really good. So this is going to be in all three bedrooms with the flooring. Let's see if I can put the flooring against the wall so you guys can see what I'm saying. I'm trying not to touch the wall since it's wet. But that's how it looks with the floor. Uh, I think I like it. Let's put the light out. For some reason when it's so bright, my camera doesn't do really good quality. That's how it looks against the floor. When the floor is done, it'll be like that. See how it brings out and lightens up the floor? I think that'll look good. I don't think it'll be too dark. Hope it don't be too dark. But I know I don't like city loft. It's just too bright. I don't know. These kind of decisions are so hard, but I know I don't like city loft and I'm just tired of looking for paint. And yeah, can't remember what color the paint is in my bathroom. Cause it's like a grayish color too. And I ended up not liking it cause it was light like that and it was too bland and it didn't have any dimension. So that's why I'm more leaning towards, even though it looks dark, may not necessarily be dark. when you get the floor laid in here. agreeable gray versus the green that I had going on so huge difference changes the atmosphere of the room I think I'm liking it I think I'm liking it y'all you want to know why I have this bag on because I had an impulse I was just supposed to be doing swatches but when I found out I liked the color I went ahead and started painting of course I only have a sample which is 30 Fluid ounces, which isn't gonna cover much, you know. It covered this wall, part of that wall. It's just, I'm gonna, of course, have to do a second coat. I'm gonna get a five gallon, so I have enough to do all three rooms. But if you can get started while you're ahead, why not? Go ahead and get started. So that's what I do. While I'm in the mood, why not go on and 
knock out some coats already. So that's what I'm gonna do.